All right, y'all. So here it is. This is the Cadillac probably of the holidays. This is the probably the most high-end and coolest, craziest flute that we have for the holiday season. Super, super sweet. This thing is a beast. I mean, the weight on this is pretty heavy. So we've made a few zebra wood flutes this um, season here. And we had this big board that we purchased just for a pretty small custom order. So we had a bunch of wood left. And look at the grain on this. I mean, some zebra wood is, you know, pretty plain Jane or just straight streaks going through. Listed a smaller alternating drone just recently that was a little bit more basic. But the richness of this here, the the light color with the dark green bigger dark green streaks look at the character that's in this wood here just cool and even these little spots that show up in here i just love the grain of this wood it is so cool look at that gorgeous piece of wood like i said quite dense i actually we shaped it and then i was still too heavy and i shaved it down even some more just to get a little weight off it's manageable now. It's hard for me to say how much it actually weighs, but it's a beast of a flute for sure. Uh, you could just like stash it like by your bed in case you get any burglars, you know what I mean? No, you don't want to do that. Anyway, and it has wenge end caps, right? And these basic blocks. And some of the wenge that I've been using is, is darker. And this one has like... Um, more lighter undertone with the darker streaks in it you see that and i really love that and so mike actually designed this one here i gave him the flute blank and he put the end caps on and he did a great uh, job choosing he's really good at that i really like his wood choices but he put this paduke so it gives it that pop paduke accent band with this here and and just that's a super nice color blend with the woods that he chose i thought really really pretty and then you can see this gorgeous design here this one does come again with a display stand i didn't bring it out from the office but it'll have a nice um drone flute display stand it'll sit like this on a table or something and uh, you can see that on the website in some photos so really really sweet and then um this is the first of its kind that we're offering so maybe already well let's see did i lose something no i must have left it in the shop um let's see you've probably seen it's a few years back now we had what we called our snake aeolian drone flute right with snake totems coming off like this and it was an f sharp drone with a b aeolian um on the playing side and so we made many C, C Aeolian with a G drone since then. And then some C sharps with G sharps. And then a while, this was years ago. I don't know if you guys know or follow my stuff, but there was another rock star of a flute. I can't remember. We sold it for um, probably the same price as this one over, you know, 4,000, something like that. It was super elaborate with... Um, owl and ayahuasca theme i don't know if you remember that but it was a really sweet flute g sharp c sharp the feature that we put on that flute for the first time was this cork and so what this cork does is it changes it to um, not to drone at the g anymore and so obviously we can't reach that with our finger to change the drone note okay let me back up and see if i can show you what i mean All right and so cork here there's no way to change that with your finger you know what i'm saying so we put a cork in and what that does is it makes a regular c low or no sorry in this case it's a b low b aeolian drone flute and that's still a low drone flute so you have the option now drone at the low f or drone like the b and we did that previous we've done it on a few flutes since then and it's a cool feature to be able to have it changes the overall functionality of a normal, um, what a normal low B drone flute would sound like, um, but not too much. Basically, what, it, what I'm saying is when you pull this cork, for whatever reason, you don't get a high octave B that I typically would get when you blow harder on a drone. So here's the, here's the F sharp. And when I blow harder, 
You hear that? Let me adjust that. So when you blow harder, you get that high octave. So. So you can hear the high and the low. All right. And then um, now we got the brand new feature. Okay. We got the pull the cork. And now we also have added the alternating drone hole here, which I also have a cork for that. That's why I was over here looking like, wait, am I missing something? Probably left it in the shop. Anyway, we have a small cork that fits in the pinky hole. So now basically that means you can change from the low F sharp B Aeolian drone flute, or you can remove the cork and you have a B alternating drone. And so what I'll tell you is um, that alternating drone, it does have a function when um, playing it with this cork in. So what I'm saying is when you have an F sharp, the F sharp droning and you lift the pinky, only thing that's going to do is act as like a high octave trigger. So it'll, it'll, you lift that pinky and it'll now drone at a high F sharp pretty easily. And then it won't go back to the low F sharp when you put that pinky down until you rest your breath down and um, you get to the lower notes again and it'll shift back to that F sharp note. So I'm going to play the different ways that this, uh, that this thing works. And of course I want to play it all mic too. We have to figure out how we're going to do all that. But here's the cork in, okay? And that gives us the F sharp and the B aeolian. And that's with me just putting my pinky down. Again, I will provide a cork with this so you can just not even think about it and have a cork covering that hole while this cork is in. But when you remove this cork, then you have the option of removing both corks so that you get the Aeolian um, alternating drone. However, I'm gonna lift this pinky while playing the F sharp and you can see what happens. It'll basically just pop to the high octave. <laughs> pretty cool i mean it's on pitch so that's really cool i wasn't sure how it would act you know but the nice thing is it um it actually is an on pitch note because it's it's actually made to play with the c so now we have a hole here we have the tuning holes over here that makes uh sorry i keep saying c because that's what we usually make make this now a low B alternating drone. So this note now is not going to be F sharp when you lift it. It's going to be the same note as this, which is, I don't know if I can think of that. I can't think that hard. You might have to read it on a tuner or maybe look at my website and I'll tell you what note that drone's at. It's this note though, same as all three lifted off the bottom. Okay, you got that? So. Now I'm gonna play it as a B Aeolian alternating drone. <laughs> Awesome, right okay now it's time to play it mic'd like i said this is probably the most high-end flute that we're having for the holidays maybe someone is going to fall in love with this i really i've fallen in love with it love the design love how it would look as a display piece love even the stand i'm going to play it with the cork in for a little bit mic'd and i'm going to play it with the cork out for a little bit mic'd and i just want you guys to enjoy um 
I'm still deciding if I'm going to put a sale price on here. Retail is $42.50. I know you guys are like, ouch, I'm sorry. It takes a lot of work to do these pieces. And when we do the inlay like that, man, you have no idea. Anyway, um, so it will be probably on some sort of sale. Just take a look and otherwise just enjoy it. It's a beautiful piece here and I hope that you enjoy the sounds it makes. I'm gonna change my effects over here because I think it'll sound cool like this. Okay, here we go. Love this one. Hope you love it too. Have yourself a great day.